Jack off to that, that's pretty messed up. Nice. Got my uh, Shakira video jerk off to that. Shakira, a lonely girl. And so when they drag you off the jail. If they take me out to jail. I'll probably fuck some dude in the back of a cell with a guy named Ben. We'll never tell the story. I wanna give you a dirty side chest, a pearl necklace with a bloody nose. Test number four. If I was to describe you as a fruit, what fruit would you be? A dick fruit. 
There goes a gangster rolling through the hood in the Honda Accord. This is Greg Acapella. Hello. You see, I moved here over 10 years ago from South Carolina. I was just a robe with cheap shoes and a cheap bag. <laughs> it wraps the lotion on its dick and jacks off crazy. <laughs> it wraps the lotion on its skin and makes himself orgasm. <laughs> it wraps the lotion on its skin and then it makes me blow a nut. Say, aren't you about a size 14? Hey, wait, is she a great big fat person? Please, does the FBI know anything? Police around here don't seem to have the slightest clue. Hey, you don't know what pain is! Don't you hurt my dog! I'm the luckiest man on earth with Lou Gehrig's disease. You think Lou Gehrig knew that he had Lou Gehrig's disease? <laughs> or was he just real sick one? I think I've got a disease that's something like me. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I've got Greg Garner's disease. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I'm so famous, they're going to name a fucking disease after me. Yeah, I've got Greg Garner's disease, also known as herpes. <laughs> That's funny. It's going up there. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard the beginning, the birth of a new joke. <laughs> herpes by Greg. <laughs> That's funny. That will work up. You think Lou Gehrig knew he had Lou Gehrig's disease? <laughs> I think you're just like, I feel real sick, and uh, I think I've got the disease like me. <laughs> oh. That'd be cool if they named the disease after me. Oh, I think I've got Greg Garner's disease, also known as herpes, <laughs> or general warts, or age. But, uh, those are all classified into one, right? When you get one, you get all of them, right? Get it? Fucking doctor lied. Uh, anyways, I really don't have all that, just AIDS. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get it all. Um, Probably I do. I do. What's your philosophy on condoms again? Don't like them. Don't wear them if I don't have to. That was great. I was actually, I slipped it off on Nikki. I had her in there in my room and I was like, she was like, I go, ooh, I think the condom came off. She goes, you took the condom off 10 minutes ago. I go, why didn't you stop me? It felt good. No, she never calls me. Obviously, I was a lame fuck. Hey, Greg, I'm that girl that. Slept That's Christy. In your bed. That's Christine. Christy. I'm that pain in the ass who stayed at your house like new dick all day. Yep, you were. That's great. I just came up with a pretty good news, too. That'll be funny as hell. That's really funny. Lou Gehrig's disease. Yeah, Lou Gehrig's disease. Huh? Yeah. yeah, but how many people get that? My aunt had it. She's gone now. But, uh, <laughs> she's not going to hear it. Unless she's watching me from up there in her... She's laying on one of those big pillows in the clouds. Yeah, right. She's slowly collecting anthills. Anyways, uh, I know it sounds morbid. I love my aunt. But, hey, she's gone. I'll be there, too. Anyways, uh, on to the next morbid topic. Hookers. You got to love them. Can't kill them. Uh, it really disturbed me to know that uh, hookers don't count in the actual numbers for how many girls you fucked. That really pissed me off. Found that out the other day in National Geographic. I read about it. Apparently, uh, only girls that you actually attack. You, if you pay for it, it doesn't count. I like girls that work out a lot. They seem to struggle more. <laughs> Is it like that? 
saw that today too. You like that? I like dating girls who work out a lot, gym oriented, very good shaped bodies. They struggle more. <laughs> you like that? They, 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 it's on tape. I had never done anything to a child. <laughs> I was there, I was in the room, I had fireworks, I did not touch that boy. <laughs> we had cookies and milk. <laughs> what the fuck? I was there, we had some Barney tapes, some cookies, some milk. I did not touch him in any way, shape, or form inappropriately. Alright? I love the kids. I love them. A lot. Put you up or no, put you in my hero. And everything I wish I could be I can fly higher than an eagle You're just a bitch I like to fuck Look! Look at those birds going crazy Girls going wild! Aborigines gone wild! <laughs> You'll see the tame, these boomerang throwing hookers get nuts in the outback Anybody ever think that George Bush is actually mini-me, and that the real George Bush is Dr. Evil? What? Well, George Bush Sr. is Dr. Evil, or Gold Member, and mini-me is George Bush Jr. Together, they are about to rule the world with new orders. New world order! The new world order! <laughs> Who the fuck says call something a new... New world order scares the shit out of me. I don't know about you. My name is Kleinfeld, Dr. George Bush, the New World Order. Jews, okay. Arabs. <laughs> Shah, you were formerly my friend. No longer, my friend. Pledge your allegiance to me now, infidel. Speak to me the rhythms of Albanot as it pertains to the opening of the gates of Abamnon into the physical realm so the hell may come forthright and tenfold into the hordes of the infidels. Not bad. Pretty crazy sounding, huh? Speak to me the rhythm. That's pretty weird. I don't even know where I heard that. I used to say it around my brother when we were playing golf. And it freaked him out and he got all mad. We were driving around the golf cart and I was like... All of nowhere, I just go speak to me. The rhythms of Albanot does it pertain to the opening of the gates of a family on the physical realms. So the hell may come forth. My brother just goes, Stop it, stop it. <laughs> he, said, he said it like. Mike, fine. What? You might just spin. He said it like he got, he got kind of scared, dude. He's like, Stop it, come out of it, Greg. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Yeah, dude, dad was a trip back then. I remember, Speak to me, the rhythms of Albanot does it pertain to the. <laughs> He's like, Stop, Greg, no. I'm like, it's too late. Become an EverQuest. That's gonna be some funny shit, that Lou Gehrig disease, huh? I think that's gonna really work. Yeah, do you think Lou Gehrig knew he had Lou Gehrig's disease? Maybe he stole it from Lou Gehrig. That'd be some fucked up shit, I ought to be famous. Ah, he was a good baseball player, but what he's really famous for is getting a disease. <laughs> yeah, he's good at that. Guy got a disease like nobody else. It's Lou Gehrig's disease, for God's sakes. Yeah, they got a disease like that out there for me. Also known as herpes. I got Greg Garner's disease. <laughs> herpes. <laughs> How we doing?
I think I am part Irish. Part Indian, part Irish. It's not gonna be really differentiated. Yeah, you're about as much Indian as you in you is like. My middle name is Fasu. Yeah. My middle name is Fasu, which is Indian. F A Y S S O U X. That's my middle name. You know that? That doesn't mean you're Native American. I don't put it down on, on a form, but I have some in there. For yeah. Chris is a part of the Cherokee Nation as well. I am too, that's why I'm Cherokee. Chris Atagahi, Unkotafi. Upiti Aelo, you are my friend. Contestant number four. Uh, if I was a fruit, would you eat me? <laughs> Contestant number seven. Drop them. See what you got, pal. Do you want to hear my impersonation of somebody bowling? Here we go. Gooder. <laughs> so bad. Let's try it again. My impersonation of bowling. Me bowling. Funny, huh? <laughs> I'll show you my person. Personation of me bowling. <laughs> Gutter ball. <laughs> yeah. It was a gutter ball, get it? Anybody remember Bernard Getz, New York City? That guy was cool as fuck. Yeah. When the sun goes down in Dufour Town, hoes get drilled. <laughs> it's a true, it's a fact of the nature. Everybody knows it. Hey, pal. Oh, man. Hey, good looking. I'll be back to pick you up later. K-Tail Records presents Country Hits of Classics. You'll hear songs like I'll Be Home with hits like Marty Robbins, El Paso. Down in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. She was entranced with her hair in the moonlight And I with the sight of her tightly trimmed squirrel How's your beer? It's wonderful. These were good. Is it really? Down in the West Texas town of El Paso I fell in love with a Mexican girl She was entranced with her hair in the moonlight And I with the sight of a tightly trimmed squirrel How are we doing? Enjoying the Sunday. Having fun. Oh boy. Everybody's gone. I feel so lonely. I don't have any attention anymore. Nobody's here to party with me. 
I'm scared. I'm really scared. Four. We're gonna start a fire. That's what we're gonna have to do. That's the only choice we have here. I'm gonna get some gunpowder. Money and fame and all that stuff makes a person go crazy. All I want to do is party in my ass, so I guess I'm just lazy. <laughs> Gotta go get a fridge. Fuck that. I don't want to go get no motherfucking refrigerator. I'm gonna go in there and take a hatchet and chop that fridge up. Crazy like that. I'm crazy like a fox. I'm disturbed mentally because of the military. The military did that to me. I've never been in the military, but just thinking about it makes me disturbed. Um, I'm also psychotic, and that's because of my parents. They made me this way. Uh, not sure why or how, but uh, I owe them a lot of money. Um, anyways, back to the military. That's the one part of my life that really fucked me up. The military ruined my life. I was never in the military, but I used to watch different shows about it. It fucked me up pretty bad. I'll never watch those shows again. I remember one time I watched a show about single-engine airplanes. It fucked me up pretty bad too. And Japanese geisha girls. And then there was that episode of uh, General Hospital where Luke and Laura, Luke uh, shot somebody or something on an escalator. It fucked me up pretty bad. Never watch that again. I think my stomach hurt. And there's always like coprophiliac type videos I like to watch. Just people shitting. Especially girls. I'm kinda into that. I like a little voodoo in my love. <sighs> Here come some motherfuckers. Hey! What's up? Yo, mother, hey! <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Hey! <laughs> you know what rhymes with hey? Yay! And that's what I feel like right now. Yay! Uh, whatever. The sun's starting to drop on me here. So. Test number four. If I was an airplane, would you fly me? If I was Saddam Hussein, would you drop the bomb on me?
Ladies and gentlemen, these three people coming across the street are the biggest fucking assholes I've ever seen in my life. Ugliest mother with some creepy kids. <laughs> could turn into a disaster here. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I don't want to, but I've been taught that. Nice mullet. Biggins. <laughs> Trigger happy, slickin', slickin'. Empty clickin'. When trickin', they never. <laughs> Henry Wiggins. Back again so soon. No more challenge. Dickens. Charles Dickens in the Christmas Carol. Watch this. <laughs> Eating pussy, what you do? Alright, I'm leaving with the cops in the back. Oh, you think they're coming back for real? <laughs> you think that that was wrong when I said Biggins? Biggins. <laughs> hey, as soon as I started, it was like this. She was like this. <laughs> <laughs>